Hey guys, welcome to another Swell Enterprise tutorial. Today I want to dig into creating a workflow. And for this, we're going to use an example where uh, once an invoice is paid, we want to automatically kick off an, an email to the client, letting them know what their client portal link is and maybe some sort of general onboarding email. Um, so again, in order to get started, uh, we're going to be following a specific example. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do, because workflows relies heavily on templates, not all workflows need a template, um, but for this example, we do need a template created. So to get started, go ahead to create new template. You can either do this from the left-hand menu here, if you've shortlisted it, or click on the three dots in the top. And let's go to the automation tab, new template. For the sake of this tutorial, I have already created a template, and you'll see here. Uh, <clears throat> I just went on and created a new email template from that template screen. I gave it a very basic title, such as client portal link email. Uh, of course, it was the email template type. I gave it a subject line, and you can see where I typed just a very generic message uh, for the client to receive. Now, one thing I want to point out here is that I dynamically pulled in um, the client's first name, and for any reason, if there's not a first name found, it will fall back to there. Uh, so in order to find what merge codes you can use, you can always click on the chat icon and search the docs just by typing in merge codes. And this should find the article with the full list of merge codes that you can use. So as I navigate down this article, you'll see, um, and because we're sending this email to a client, because the invoice is paid, we use client's first name. But that'll give you a full list of all of the, uh, the merge codes that you can use throughout the system. The second thing I want to point out, um, just because of this example, we are sending the client portal link. Uh, we did go ahead and grab our client portal link from our profile. And in order to do that, you just click on your name at the top, click on client portal, and you should see this screen. And you can just copy this URL and paste it into your email template. So just to back up a little bit and walk you through, if you're not familiar with creating templates at all, uh, Again, go to the new template page from the top or from the left-hand sidebar. You're going to click on add template and you'll choose the email template in order to start if you're following along with this tutorial. Otherwise, you can just disregard this and I'm going to assume at this point you have both the email template set up uh, and your client portal link copy. So now let's dig into creating an actual workflow. You can go to workflows from the sidebar if you've shortlisted that, or click on the three dots in the top under the automation tab. And if you go ahead, you can click on view workflows. So we're going to create a new workflow specific to invoices. Now, the way we've developed workflows is that these are stackable. Essentially, you can have a workflow for every module or every app within Swell. Uh, and within those workflows, you can have several steps or several things that take place to kind of automate your workflow. So let's go ahead and start by creating a new workflow. And we'll give it a brief title. So invoices workflow for this one. Now it's very important you know what the module section is of creating a workflow. This means that we are attaching all of our automated workflow steps to a specific app or module. So in this case, we're going to choose invoices. You can give it a description below if you wish, but when you're done, just go ahead and click on create workflow and you should see it show up in the table below. Next, just click on the view icon and that's how we can start working with the workflow. And so you heard me mention that workflows are stackable. Um, you can have a workflow for any module or any app within Swell, and they can have several steps within a workflow. So to show you what I mean, let's go ahead and click on Add Step. And we're going to say Send Client Portal Link. This way I can easily identify what this step is. Now, depending on what module or what app you chose, you will have a different set of triggers and actions that you can use. Uh, in this case, we're going to use when the invoice is paid as a trigger, we want to send an email to a client. Now remember that template we just created, that email template? This is where we're going to go in and choose the email template that we created. So what we're saying here is when the invoice is paid, we want to send an email to the client using the client portal link email. 
And if you remember, we dynamically pulled in the client's first name and our client portal link is pretty generic. It doesn't change. So I just copy and pasted that directly in the email template. Next, I'm going to go ahead and click on create step. Now, what do I mean when I say that these are stackable? That means that I can also create another step that happens within uh, certain triggers or actions of a workflow for invoices. So let's say, for example, I also want to create a project from the line items of the invoice when it's paid. So I'll do that as well. So our trigger is going to be when the invoice is created or paid. I'm going to choose paid. We want to create a project and task from the line items of the invoice. And for this case, we don't need a template. So you can see here where I've automated two parts of my workflow. And if I back up a little bit, you can see how this can become very granular and very powerful to automate different parts and different steps uh, throughout the Swell Enterprise application. So I hope that summarizes workflows a little bit. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach us at the bottom of the right-hand window in the chat pane. We'll be happy to help.